Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some Marvel's Infinity Wars action figures. We got Iron Spider and Iron Man. We'll start looking at the packaging before we look at the figures. It's a product shot of Iron Spider, a.k.a. Spider-Man. And he gets an Infinity Stone that goes into his backpack, which is the gimmick with these. And a bunch of warning information and the other figures they make. We got this one and we got Iron Man. We don't have Thor or Scarlet Witch. I'd love to have those in my collection. Well, that's all there is to say for the box. And that's the artwork on the box, which looks really nice. I dig that. Next, we're going to look at the Iron Man Infinity Wars action figure. It's an Infinity Stone that plugs into his gun. Plus, this is a nice design for Iron Man. It's a shame they killed him off in Infinity Wars. I really liked Iron Man so much. Why couldn't they have found another actor to play Iron Man instead of just killing him off? He was my favorite Avenger, for Pete's sakes, man. That's my nitpick about these movies. Good movies, but they could be a lot better. And we get some product shot of the other figures they make. We got Captain America, which I don't have. Black Widow, don't have. Thor, don't have. Or the... Hulkbuster. But now that we're done with that, we're going to look at our figures here. First up, we got Spider-Man. He doesn't have any knee bends, so he can kick forward that far. He can't kick back much. His arms are on a hinge, so you can get some hinge movement out of the hands. You're like, hello. Hello, world. It's me, Iron Spider, a.k.a. your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So some posability on these figures, but not a lot, if I do say so myself. And the head is on a ball joint, but it's really tight, and you can easily break the heads off. And here we got our Infinity Stone on his back. So yeah, and it comes off real easily, and it goes on real easily. Not a bad looking Spider-Man, but now we're going to get down to comparisons with some other Spider-Mans. Here we got my original suit Spider-Man from the Far From Home, not, yeah, Far From Home and Spider-Man Homecoming. I could be wrong. If I am, leave me a comment or just leave me a comment or something. Next on the list, we got the original three Spider-Man figure of Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. And this is my very first Spider-Man action figure. This is my very first here, here I've ever had. And I love some Spider-Man action figures, hands down. And that's all there is to say for this Spider-Man. So we're going to put him in the back. Now we're going to look at Iron Man. He gets this huge repulsor cannon with an Infinity Stone power in it. So you'll be like, take this, Thanos. But I'm probably not going to display him with this gun because it's so big and it hinders his posability. Same articulation in the legs. You can't kick back that far. Can sit down pose. Arms can do a full 360. They can hinge out that far. You do get some elbows out of it. Which ain't bad. They're just really tight on my copy. So you get some articulation. Head is on a ball joint. And this one's a lot more looser than... The other ones I have. But not a bad looking Iron Man, if I do say so myself. 
These figures are really well sculpted and really well painted. But now we're going to get down to some comparisons with some other Iron Mans before we end this video. Here we got the Mark V Iron Man. And of course, the very first Iron Man we ever got here on the channel, because we have him, the Iron Man, the animated series, Iron Man. And not some bad looking Iron Mans, if I do say so myself. Are these Avengers Infinity Wars figures worth adding to your collection? Yes, they are so much fun. Shame they don't have knee bend, but otherwise they're really good looking figures. And I would highly recommend them. And that's all there is to say for this video. If you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to like for more videos like this. And you're probably wondering, why do I like Iron Man and Spider-Man so much? Well, they're my top favorite Avengers. Because I like them. They're both pretty cool. And I would highly recommend these to anyone who's a big fan of Marvel figures. That's all there is to say for this video. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.